Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to bring you some PC replay baseball, all franchise teams. Giants versus the Dodgers, game one, best of seven. Remember, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Come enjoy the chat, enjoy the videos, enjoy the fun. Hit the bell for notification when we go live. Also check out all the other wonderful content creators in our very fun community. All franchise teams and all-time rivals clash in the best of seven. New York slash San Francisco Giants take on the Brooklyn slash Los Angeles Dodgers. Welcome to our field of dreams. Play ball. Steve Tate has joined us. Check out his wonderful channel for all things action, PC, baseball, and more. He has very fun chats with Beatles Eternally, another fun content creator. Please subscribe to both those channels. We also have Pesky Poll. Check out his wonderful channel and subscribe. Bernard Strom is here. Hope you're feeling better and continue your recovery with your back surgery. Pesky Pull, before we start, says, Best baseball game on the market, in my humble opinion. Very good game. I do like this game. I like many others also, but yes, it's a fun game. Aesthetically pleasing. You can roll your own dice if you want. Uh, I was going nuts today because I could not find my Stratomatic 1966 Dodgers. I tore apart this room. I finally found them. I can sleep now. But it was too late to set up a Stratomatic card and dice game, so we're going action PC. Baseball. I do love me some Sandy Koufax. So this is a best of seven. Giants, Dodgers, all franchise team, as I stated. I'll be playing as both teams, just like I would be playing card and dice. So I'll make all the decisions. For the Giants, now out of San Francisco, George Davis leads off at short, followed by Frankie Fish, Frisch, excuse me, second base. Willie Mays, Center field, Matt Williams, the cleanup hitter at third. Orlando Cepeda, the baby bull, bats fifth, plays first. Barry Bonds is in left field. In the other corner, his father, Bobby Bonds, in right field. Jeff Kent, the DH, Buster Posey bats ninth and does the catching. On the mound for the Giants, Christy Mathewson. He's a right-handed hurler. For the Dodgers of Los Angeles, Maury Wills leads off. He'll play short. Jackie Robinson at second. Duke Snyder in left field. Roy Campanella does the catching. Bats clean up. Willie Davis in center. Mike Piazza is the DH. Dolph Camelli's at first base. Ron Say, the Penguin man's the hot corner. Dixie Walker bats ninth, plays right field. And on the bump, the left arm of God. Sandy Koufax. Pesky Pulse has just bought 1954 and 2007 and 2013. I picked up in that mini sale 1959, 1961, and 62. As Pesky Pulse, our good friend, says, playing my 1991 replay as I listen. To Dodger Stadium we go. Bob Cole. How you doing, my friend? Bob says, should be a good one. I think so, as I'm going to manage both teams and so many fun players. Our field of dreams. You can bring your field of dreams to your PC, to your tabletop, with your favorite games. Doesn't matter which game. Whatever game makes you happy. Dodger Stadium. For the Dodgers, Koufax on the mound, four range, 62 era. Behind the plate, Campanella, five range, four arm, 46 era. Camelli's at first, two range, 51 era. Robinson's a 155 at second. Maury Wills, three range, 46 era. Ron Say, the Penguin, one range, 44 era. In left field, Duke <coughs> Snyder. Three range, three arm, 65 error. 
Willie Davis is in center. Five range, four arm, 43 error. Dixie Walker in right, three range, five arm, 34 error. For the Giants, they'll send up Davis, Frisch, and Mays to face the left arm of God, Sandy Koufax. If you're unfamiliar with this game, the red die dictates the column, and then the white die is the batter's card, the blue die, the pitcher's card. So, better for the pitcher, columns one and two. Columns three and six are better for the hitter. Again, depending how good the pitcher and hitter are. Column four, infield defense. Column five, pitcher control. Column six, again, better for the hitter. Those are the bippity boppity booms. The big hits, doubles, triples, homers, things like that. So here we go. Koufax on the mound. Campanella sets the target. Koufax deals to George Davis. Davis swings. He's going to get a base hit right up the middle. So Davis is at first. Looks like he wants to take off stealing. He steals second. He might steal third. Holy cow, I'm glad I put him. No, he's going to hold at second. No, he's going to try to steal third. He's a speed demon. Can't get the jump. Kofak pivots and fires towards second. Getting back is Davis. Davis in scoring position. For Frankie Frisch. Frisch is we're gonna play corners in. But we're still gonna lay the bunt down with Frisch. Koufax deals Frisch squares. Bunts it towards third and Ron Say. The Penguin charges. Only plays to Camelli. One out. Davis to third. Dave Gardner has joined us on his ride home. Drive safely, my friend. Oh, just got home, excuse me. He's listening while doing stats. So I'm glad you had a safe trip home. Thank you for joining us. Check out his wonderful channel, Dave Gardner. And, of course, Digital to Dice on Spreaker or Spotify or wherever fine podcasts can be listened to with Dave Gardner and Ron Juckett. Remember, Ron Juckett on Twitch and his YouTube channel. Lots of good stuff there. One out for the Say Hey Kid, Willie Mays. Davis at third will concede the run. The pitch to Mays. Mays! Swing and a miss. Nasty breaking pitch. That is a huge out. Two outs. Davis at third. Cleanup hitter Matt Williams, Giants third baseman, steps into the right-hander's batter's box. Koufax peers in at Campanella. He rocks and deals to Williams. Williams hits it right side. Jackie Robinson has it over to Camelli. Davis stranded at third. You have to say that's one heck of a job by Koufax pitching out of that. Bottom of the first, due up for the Dodgers. Wills, Robinson, Snyder. If anyone gets on, Campanella. On the mound for the Giants, Christy Mathewson. Two range, 63 error. Behind the plate, Buster Posey. Four range, five arm, 53 error. The Baby Bull is at first, two range, 51 error. Frankie Frisch at second, one range, 53 error. Davis, who is stranded at third, plays short, two range, 51 error. Matt Williams mans the hot corner for the Giants, one range, 43 error. In left field, Barry Bonds, three range, three arm, 51 error. The Say Hey Kid, Willie Mays, the godfather to Barry Bonds, is in center, five range, five arm, 45 error. Bobby Bonds, father of Barry, is in right field, five range, four arm, 45 error. Pesky Pulse is why I love this game is how it looks. I have bad eyes, love how the... <coughs> Excuse me, love how they handle pitcher stamina and love the encyclopedia. Love finishing a season and loading the results into the encyclopedia. It's a marvelous game. And again, play the games you like, but I do like this one. Here's Maury Wills to lead things off. Matthewson 
to Wills. Wills will swing the stick. Pops it up. Left side, Cepeda makes the catch. One down. Matheson jammed Wills on that one. Jackie Robinson steps to the plate. Right-handed batter. Posey sets the target. The pitch to Jackie Robinson. Fly ball. Right field. Bonds. That's Barry Bond, uh, Bobby Bonds makes the grab. Two down. Here's Duke Snyder. Left hand batting left fielder. Posey wiggles the fingers. Mathewson nods his head. The wind up and the pitch to the Duke. Snyder swings. Line drive. Left field. That's going to get down. Bonds might have a little trouble here. And it boots the ball. It took a weird hop on Barry. So that's going to be a single and an E7 with two outs. Snyder's in scoring position for Roy Campanella, the Dodger catcher. The pitch to Campy. Fly ball center field. Mays coming in. Makes the catch. Snyder stranded at second. The error doesn't hurt. We're through one scoreless here at Dodger Stadium. For the Giants, it will be Cepeda. Barry Bonds, Bobby Bonds. If anyone gets on, the DH, Jeff Kent. Koufax is ready. He rocks and deals to the baby bull, Orlando Cepeda. Swing and a miss. Nasty breaking pitch. Second strikeout for the left arm of God, Sandy Koufax. Lefty-lefty matchup. Bond, the only left-handed batter in this lineup to face Koufax. Barry digs in, slightly choking up on the bat. Campanella sets up down and away. The pitch from Koufax to Barry Bonds. Bonds hits it. Left side, Maury Wills. Tough chance for Maury. Maury. Throws low to Camelli, and Camelli scoops it out of the dirt. Two down. Will stuck with it. Bases empty, two outs for father of Barry, Bobby Bonds. Bobby's a right-handed stick. Campanella sets the target. The pitch to Bobby Bonds from Koufax. Bonds drives his ball high, deep, and gone. Bonds pulls that ball to left. You can kiss it goodbye. There's no string on that one. You're not bringing it back. It's a bippity-boppity-boom to the moon. Boom goes the ball. Bobby Bonds touches the mall. He was sitting dead red. To the moon, Alice. To the moon. one nothing Giants. So that was a solo shot with two outs. Colfax came in tight with that fastball. And Bobby just pulled that thing out of the ballpark. Here is Jeff Kent, the designated hitter. The pitch to Kent. Swing and a miss. Got him on the breaking pitch. Campanella applies the tags. The ball hit the dirt. Sides retired. But the Bobby Bonds homer gives the Giants a 1-0 lead as we go to the bottom of the second. Bernard Strom says, Love the PC replay program. My next project is 1950. We'll play all the Red Sox games using different card and dice and PC engines. Enter the results into PC Replay. I will then sim all other games. 1950 Red Sox are a fun team. They could mash. They did the Boston mash. The Boston mash. It was a home run smash. They scored over a thousand. They knocked in over a thousand. I think it was a thousand runs. That 1950 team was phenomenal. Pitching not so good. Wasn't horrific, but not so good. I, I want to say they finished three and a half out. That team is very similar to the 77 Red Sox. <laughs> For the Dodgers, who trail by one here in the bottom of the second, Willie Davis, Mike Piazza, Dolph Camelli. Christy Mathewson on the mound with a one-run lead. Deals to the left-hand batting Willie Davis. Davis swings. Grounds it to Williams. Williams up with it to Cepeda. One out. Scoring at home, 5-3. to three. That'll bring up Mike Piazza, the designated hitter. Righty-righty matchup. Posey sets the target. Mathewson deals to Piazza. 
Swing and a miss. Foul tip held on by Buster Posey. Two down. Base is empty for Dolph Camelli. Left hand batting first baseman. Here's the pitch to Camelli. Camelli lines it to Williams. Side retired. Camelli a little late on the fastball. Lined it left side. Matt Williams made a nice play. Top of three, one nothing. San Francisco Giants. Sports Time Machine has joined us. Check out that wonderful channel with our good friend, Mr. Utah Mike. For the Giants, it will be Buster Posey. Then the top of the order, Davis and Frisch. Posey, right-hand batting catcher. Koufax kicks and deals to Posey. Posey makes contact, punches it to Wills at short, who fires to Camelli, one out. Top of the order, George Davis. He singled and stole. Second was stranded at third. The pitch to Davis. Oh! Gets him on the inside corner. Beautiful fastball. Mr. Davis, the bench is over there. Fourth K for Koufax. Two outs, base is empty for Frankie Frisch. He had a sack bunt in his first plate appearance. Frisch digs in the right-hander's batter's box. Campanella goes through the sides. Koufax slowly nods his head. The high leg kick and the delivery to Frankie Frisch. Frisch grounds it to say. The Penguin fires to Dolph Camelli. The side is retired. We go to the bottom of the third. 1-0 Giants due up for the Dodgers. Say, Walker, Wills. Ron Say, the Penguin. Steps in the right-hander's batter's box. He's got some pop. Matthewson to say. Flies out shallow right to Bobby Bonds. Sounded a lot better off the bat than it was. Now bring up the number nine batter. Left-hand hitting right fielder Dixie Walker. The pitch to Dixie. Dixie rips her shot to right. Bonds racing over, and he makes the diving catch, robbing Dixie Walker of a base hit. That was sinking towards the foul line. What a catch by Bobby Bonds. Two down. Top of the order, Maury Wills. Wills 0 for 1. Matthewson looks out, nods his head to Bobby. Back up on the bump now. Picks up the sign from Posey. The pitch to Maury Wills. Will swing, sends it out to left. Barry racing for it. He's not going to get there. So Barry cannot do what his father Bobby did. Make the diving catch. Played it on the short hop. Two outs, inning stays alive with that single. Now we get the Jackie Robinson. Wills represents the tying run at first. The pitch to number 42, Jackie Robinson. Robinson, that's going to be a base hit. To left, Bonds having trouble in left. He's already made one error, but not this time. He bobbles it, quickly fires it back in towards the infield. Wills puts the brakes on and heads back to second. Two outs, two on. Duke Snyder at the plate. Snyder singled in his first at-bat. Dodgers trail 1-0. Mathewson takes a deep breath. As the sign from Posey, the pitch to the Duke. Snyder works a walk. Bases are juiced. Wills at third, Robinson at second, Snyder at first, Rory Campanella at the plate. Campy flew out to Mays in center. No place to put Campanella. Posey goes out to have a word with Matheson. It's a quick word. Matheson's a veteran. Posey back behind the plate, squats down, pounds the mitt, sets the target. The pitch to Roy Campanella. Campanella knocks it to Frankie Frisch. Frisch backhands, pivots, throws to Zapata. The side is retired. Nice play by Frankie. The Dodgers leave them loaded. We go to the top of the fourth. one nothing Giants. Mathewson pitches out of that mess. For the Giants, it will be Mays, Williams, Zapata. Willie Mays struck out against Sandy Koufax. The pitch from Koufax. Mays swings, grounds it right side. Jackie Robinson. It's going to be a bang-bang play at first. Out! 
Robinson quickly got it out of his glove. Camelli with the stretch. They just nipped the say hey kid. One out. Base is empty. Matt Williams. Williams grounded to second. Williams, right handed batter. Koufax rocks and deals to Williams. Swing and a miss. Koufax just nasty with that curveball. It drops right off the table. That is the fifth K for Sandy Koufax. He has made one mistake. One mistake. The homer to Bobby Bonds. Two outs. Base is empty. The baby bull was a strikeout victim in his first at-bat. The pitch to Cepeda. Cepeda grounds it. Right side. Robinson to Camelli. We go to the bottom of the fourth. one nothing Giants. Due up for the Dodgers, Willie Davis, Mike Piazza, Dolph Camelli. Davis 0 for 1 with a ground out. Here's the pitch to Willie Davis. Rare play. It's going to be a bang bang play at first. Matthewson trying to get over there. Yes! Oh, but he gets knocked down. Mathewson in a collision with Willie Davis. They do record the out, but Mathewson is in a bit of pain here. And that's going to hamper his pitching. Wow, what a bad break. He's now a B-rated pitcher, so that is a rare play. That is a rare play. Mathewson... I don't think we're going to keep him in the game. Trainer comes out. That's going to be it for Christy Mathewson. We're going to go with... going to be a bullpen game. How ironic is that? I never thought that would happen. We got Joe McGitney. Ooh. Lots of wins, but yeah, lots of yeah. Yeah. Those could be bad right here. Lots of high numbers there. <laughs> Maybe we'll stay away from Joe McGitney. Johnny Antonelli. Rob Nin. The secret and in. Carl Hubble. Bomb Gardner. Madison Bomb Gardner is going to come in out of the pen. Yep, that's who we're going to go with. Madison Ga uh, Madison Bomb Gardner. For the injured Christy Mathewson. So Bomb Bum Gardner. Bomb Gardner. On the mound. He's a lefty. Probably shouldn't have went with a lefty, but we're going to go with him. Pesky Pulse says, Johnny Antonelli is from my hometown. World's worst gamer, how you doing? He said, I'd go with Campy instead of uh, Sports Time Machine. They're both in the lineup. Right. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Hit the, click the wrong thing. Piazza's the DH. Campanella's the catcher. Campanella's the better defensive catcher than Piazza, so that's why he's catching. That's just my opinion. So Bum Gardner on the mound with one out. Mathewson in the dugout after the injury with the collision with Willie Davis. The pitch to Mike Piazza. Piazza sends that ball out to Barry Bonds. He's been in an adventure and left. And it's going to drop in for a single. Another sinking line drive that Barry Bonds plays on a muffled hop. Piazza at first. Dolph Camelli to the plate. Lefty, lefty matchup. Camelli line to third. And Steve Garvey will pinch hit. 
So Camelli's day is done. Here comes Mr. Clean, Steve Garvey. Right-handed stick to face the left-hand hurling. Baumgartner, the pitch to Garvey. Garvey! Fly ball deep and gone! Steve Garvey crushes it to dead center. You can kiss that one goodbye. The pinch hit bippity boppity boom. For Mr. Clean, boom goes the ball. Steve Garvey touches them all. 2-1 Dodgers. To the moon, Alice. To the moon. So what a job by Steve Garvey coming off the bench, crushing a Madison Bumgardner fastball to dead center. 2-1 Dodgers. What a big turn of events when Matthewson got hurt, covering first base. Still only one out. Bomb Gardner has to face the Penguin now. Say, swing, sends it to Willie Mays in center. Willie Mays on the move. He's going to make the dive and the catch. Willie Mays robbing a base hit, possibly extra bases, off the bat of the Penguin Ron Say. Two down. Base is empty for Dixie Walker. Walker, again, is a left-handed batter. Carl Ferrillo will pinch it for Dixie Walker. Let's see if Baumgartner has better luck with Ferrillo than he did with Garvey. Here's the pitch to Ferrillo. And he does. Swing and a miss. The side is retired. But the two-run homer by Steve Garvey, the pinch hitter, makes it 2-1. We go to the top of the fifth. And now let's make our changes. So... Ferrillo will be in right field. Uh, Garvey will be at first. Confirm. 2-1. Top of five for the Giants. It'll be Bonds, who's been an adventure in left. That's Barry. Bobby Bonds has hit a homer and played solid D. Made a spectacular diving catch in right. Then Jeff Kent. Koufax now with a one-run lead faces Barry Bonds. The pitch to Barry from the left-hand batter's box. Barry. Possible walk here. Has to be higher than a two. It is not. Goes Count goes full. The delivery from Koufax. And this time, Bonds holds up his swing. He reaches first base. Dodgers look to play double play depth. Bobby Bonds would love to go yard again and give the Dodgers a 3-2 lead. Koufax peaks to first. Garvey holds Barry on. Now looks in at Campanella. The pitch to Bobby Bonds. Bonds swings, hits it to Wills. Could be a tough chance for Wills. Will he commit the error? He's got to stay under a 40, 46 or under. He doesn't. Oh, he makes the error. Trying to turn 2-2 quickly. He doesn't get any outs. Instead, two base runners on. It's Bonds and Bonds. No outs. Jeff Kent comes to play. Barry's at second. That's the son. Bobby is at first. He's the father. World's Worst Gamer. Are these teams you put together, Al? No, no. It's part of... um. Uh, they're all time... Uh, what's the book called? Now Taking the Field, I think it's called. They based it on Now Taking the Field. The best players that the book says for each franchise. Here's Jeff Kent. He was a strikeout victim to Koufax. Kent's a horrible bunter. He's going to swing the stick. He's got pop. The pitch to Kent from Koufax. And he strikes out. Koufax blows the fastball right by him. Six Ks for Sandy. Double play will get him out of this mess, but he'll have to get through right-hand batting catcher Buster Posey. Posey grounded to short. Koufax to Posey. That's a ground ball. No, it's a pop-up. Sorry. Garvey calls for it as Koufax jammed Posey. Two down. So Garvey makes the play at first. Two outs, two on. Barry Bonds at second. Bobby Bonds at first. George Davis. Look at that stash. At the plate, Davis singled, stole second, was stranded at third in the first. He also struck out. 
Davis trying to tie this game for the Giants or take the lead. Koufax takes a deep breath. He rocks and deals to George Davis. Davis, base hit the center. Will they wave Barry? They do. Bobby goes first to third. George Davis does it again. Second hit off Sandy Koufax. We are tied at two. He has been a thorn in Koufax's side. Davis looks like he's going to want to steal second. And he'll go without a throw. Davis, tremendous jump. Second and third now, two outs. For Frankie Frisch. Frisch, sack, bunt, and a ground out. 0 for 1. Koufax is ready. Pitch homeward bound to Frisch. Frisch grounds it. Left side. Wills doesn't boot this one. Throws to Garvey. The side is retired. The error definitely by Wills proved costly. The Giants tie the game with the clutch Two out single by Davis. We go to the bottom of the fifth, knotted at two. Top of the order for the Dodgers. Wills, Robinson, Snyder. If anyone gets on, Campanella. Baumgartner back up on the bump. Will we stick with Baumgartner? You got a switch hitter, so Wills will bat righty. Then you got Robinson and Snyder. Short leash on Baumgartner. Gave up the uh, two-run homer to the pinch hitter, Garvey. Here's the pitch to Maury Wills. Wills swing and a miss. Good start for Baumgartner. Maybe he gets his confidence up. One out. Base is empty for Jackie Robinson. Robinson one for two. His one hit was a single. The pitch to number 42, Jackie Robinson. Robinson swings the stick. Line drive towards left. The adventurous Barry Bonds once again plays it on a hop, bobbles it around, quickly fires it back into to the infield. Robinson at first. Duke Snyder will stick with Baumgartner. Lefty-lefty matchup. Giants hope for two off the bat of Snyder. Snyder hoping to knock it out of the ballpark. The pitch to the Duke. Ground ball. Williams to Frisch. Robinson goes in hard. They can only get the force out. Snyder uh, safe at first. Good hustle by Jackie Robinson. Good hard competitive slide into Frankie Frisch. Two outs. Snyder will be off on contact. Here's Roy Campanella. They'll stick with Baumgartner as Posey has a word with Madison. Posey back behind the plate. Sets the target for his counterpart, Roy Campanella. Pitch homeward bound. Two outs. Snyder off on contact. There's a ground ball to Davis. Davis up with it. Candy to Cepeda, side retired. Top of six, 2-2, two, two, how do you do? It will be Mays, Williams, and Cepeda to try to break this tie against Sandy Koufax. Koufax, two runs, only one of them earned. He's walked one, struck out six, gave up a homer to Bobby Bonds. The pitch to the Say Hey Kid, Willie Mays, looking for his first hit. Mays singles to left. Snyder plays it. Throws it in. So Mays at first for the dangerous Matt Williams. Williams is grounded out and struck out. Garvey holds on, Mays. Koufax looks to Garvey. Now in at Campanella. Campanella sets the target. The pitch to Matt Williams. Williams swinging a miss. Challenged him with an inside fastball. Too dominant for Matt Williams. One out, one on for the baby bull, Orlando Cepeda. Cepeda is ready to grip and rip. Koufax has other ideas. He takes a breath. The pitch to the baby bull, Orlando Cepeda. Cepeda singles to left. Mays hits second and holds. One out, two on for Barry Bonds. Bonds is grounded out and walked. On deck, Father Bobby. The pitch to Barry. Barry works a walk. Mays to third, Cepeda to second, Bonds to first, and Koufax in trouble. Oh no, possible wild pitch. It's gotta be, we gotta, if you're a Dodger fan, you want it three or under. Oh, the ball gets away from Campanella. The Giants take the lead as Willie Mays slides into home plate. 
Cepeda the third. Barry Bonds the second. 3 2 lead San Francisco. That's not a treat if you're a Dodgers fan. Bobby steps back in the right hander's batter's box. Colfax to Bobby Bonds. Bonds grounds it to Jackie Robinson. Possible error. This should. Oh, this is going to probably score a run. I didn't play the infield in. Jackie thought about going home, but flips to Garvey. It's a 4 2 lead now for the Giants. Two outs. Barry Bonds at third. Uh, Bobby Bonds. Is that Barry or Bobby? Barry Bonds at third, excuse me. Jeff Kent at the plate. The pitch to Kent. Ooh! Koufax plants that one in his ribs. Kent has a few choice words. Campanella tells him to shut the F up and go down to first. Oh, there's some animosity going on here. Kent's going to try to steal. Oh, the ball gets away from Campanella. Another run scores. 5-2 Giants. That's a pass ball. Charge to Campanella. Jeff Kent blowing kisses at Campanella now. Campy's not happy with that, but Kent's gotten to Campy's head. Three-run lead now for the Giants. Koufax has to get Posey here. Posey chops it right side. Robinson charges, throws the Garvey side, retired. But the Giants are able to plate three. We go to the bottom of the six. San Francisco Giants five, Los Angeles Dodgers two. And I think that's it for Madison Bomb. Though his numbers are still good. You got a 1-1-4, one, one, but that five, that's scary right there in the home run. bippity boppity boom count. Baumgartner will face Willie Davis, though. Lefty-lefty matchup. The pitch to Willie Davis, 0 for 2. Swing and a miss. So Baumgartner gets his lefty. That's going to be it for Madison Baumgartner. It'll be Piazza and Garvey next. Who will they face? They want to start this guy. I don't know if I'm starting that guy. And Marischal, obviously. I'm going to use Marischal. If the Giants can take game one, the home field advantage swings in their way. I'm going to go Rod Beck. So Rod Beck's coming in. He'll face Mike Piazza. There's that Fu Manchu of Rod Beck. Beck, right-handed hurler. Fierce-looking competitor. Posey has a word with Beck. Back behind the plate. Sets the target. The pitch to Piazza. Possible walk. And unless it's a one, it's a walk. So Piazza works a walk. Good job by Mikey Piazza. Dodgers down three. They need base runners. One out, one on for Mr. Clean Steve Garvey. The violent wind-up. The pitch to Garvey. Garvey hits it right side. Frankie Frisch, that's a 19. And it's off his glove. He dove for it. Off his glove into right. Piazza holds at second. Piazza holds at second. Yes, Beck did play for the Boston Red Sox at the end of his career. Tying run comes to play with one out. Ron say the Penguin. Beck to the Penguin. Oh, Posey frames it beautifully on the outside corner. Two outs, two on. Say doesn't like the call, but you are going back to the bench, Mr. Ron Say. So with two outs, two on, the number nine batter, Carl Ferrillo, he struck out in his pinch-hitting appearance for Dixie Walker. The pitch to Ferrillo. Ferrillo, swing and a miss. Oh, yes, foul tip held down by Posey. Dodgers strand two. So a little shakiness by Beck, but he gets out of it by striking out Say and Ferrillo. Top of seven. Five to Giants. Top of the order for the Giants. Davis, Frisch, and Mays to face Koufax. Koufax, six innings, five hits. He's given up a homer, five runs, walked two, struck out seven. 
Some shaky defense played behind Koufax. Here's the pitch to George Davis, who has singled twice and struck out. Grounder to third. Say charges. Throws to Garvey. One out. Base is empty for Frankie Frisch. Frisch is hitless. Does have a sack bunt. Here's the pitch to Frisch. Rare play. Popped up foul territory. Campanella throws his mask askew. Runs out of room. Frisch gets a reprieve. Frisch steps back in the batter's box to face Koufax. The windup, the pitch from Koufax. Frisch singles to center. Frisch will attempt to steal now off Koufax. Needs to be higher than a 53. He's thrown out. Campanella, quick release. Robinson applies the tag. Frankie Frisch turns and goes back to the dugout. Two outs, base is empty. Willie Mays steps back in the box. The pitch to Mays. Mays swings. Line drive to left. Drops in. Snyder plays it. Throws it back in to short. Two out single for Mays. Keeps the inning alive for the dangerous Matt Williams. Though he's not been too dangerous today. 0 for 3. A ground out, two strikeouts. Koufax rubs up the baseball. Now back up on the bump. Beat a sweat from his forehead. The pitch to Williams. Williams chops it to second. Robinson, Garvey, side retired. Koufax puts up the goose egg that he desperately needed. Bottom of seven. Time getting short in game one for the all-franchise Dodgers. 5-2 Giants. Top of the order for the Dodgers. Maury Wills, Jackie Robinson, Duke Snyder to face Rod Beck. Beck struck out two in the last inning. The pitch to Maury Wills. That's a base hit. Outside fastball. Wills just went with it. Slapped it to left. So Wills is going to attempt to steal. Great jump. They won't even throw. Wills in scoring position. He's going to attempt again. Can't get the jump. As Beck pivots, fakes the throw to second, diving back as Wills. Jackie Robinson, two for three. Two singles. Wills takes his lead. Beck peers over his shoulder, now looks in at Posey. The pitch to Jackie Robinson. Robinson, ground ball to Williams. Williams to Cepeda. Wills, good base running, as Williams had to charge it, goes to third. So one out. That's a huge run there. They can pull to within two. If Snyder can at least get a sack fly here. The pitch from Beck to the Duke. Snyder grounds it right side. This should score Wills. Frankie Frisch. Tough chance for Frisch. Frisch knocks it down. Stays with it. Throws to Cepeda. Two outs. Wills scores from third. Snyder picks up a ribby. Five, three Giants. Steeler fan 1933, our good friend Matt's joined us. He says hello, Al, and the chat. Here's Roy Campanella. Campanella had some words with <clears throat> Jeff Kent after Koufax plunked him. The pitch to Campy. Will Beck walk him here? Most likely, yes, and he does. Campy checks his swing. Tying run comes to the plate and Willie Davis. Beck. B rating. And again, he's still going to get those strikeouts on one and two. You see those ones, you know, in column one and two. Uh, but that five is scary there. That's it for Beck. Rob, uh, lefty, lefty. Oof, lots of bad stuff there. Lots of bad stuff. I mean, the high numbers on the six column could be good in a way, but could also be bad. <laughs> uh, he's not going to give up homers there, but he could give up some doubles, I would think. Who else is left? That's our uh, Johnny Antonelli. Two outs. They're going to go with Johnny Antonelli. Here comes Johnny Antonelli to face Willie Davis. Campanella at first. Antonelli, lefty-lefty matchup. The pitch to Davis. 
And that ball's gone. <laughs> so we go lefty, lefty. Willie Davis takes it out of the yard. We're tied at five. We went lefty, lefty. Maybe I should have brought in Hubble. That would have been a high number. Boom goes the ball. Willie Davis touches them all. To the moon, Alice. To the moon. We're knotted at five here in Dodger Stadium. What an epic game one. We went lefty-lefty. And that's it for Mr. Antonelli. Here comes Rob Nen, the secret of Nen, to face Mike Piazza. 5-5 five, five ball game. World's Worst Gamer says, LOL, gotta love baseball. Rob Nen deals to Piazza for the lead. Piazza swings the stick. Shallow fly ball to right. He got under it. Bobby Bonds makes the catch. We go to the top of the eighth, knotted at five. Colfax gets a second reprieve. Colfax, they asked him, are you okay? He says, I can go. Colfax will face Cepeda, Barry Bonds, Bobby Bonds, and the man he plunked, if anyone gets on, Jeff Kent. The pitch to the baby bull from Cepeda. That's a base hit right up the middle. Koufax could be laboring now. So Cepeda, and that's Koufax is laboring. Cepeda at first. We have a lefty. We're going to go... Ooh, I like this matchup. I like this one. Let's see what we have here. Kershaw. And I might not go with these starters. Vance, then Kershaw. Paranowski. Well, I'm going to go Paranowski. Got the high numbers, but maybe the high numbers are better. So that would have been a 23. We're going to go with Paranowski. Lefty, lefty matchup. No outs. Go ahead, run at first in Cepeda. He's an average base runner. The dangerous Barry Bonds at the plate. He's grounded out, walked twice. Ron Paranowski on the hill. Done with his warm up tosses. Campanella has a quick word with Paranowski. Can't be back behind the plate. Goes through the signs. Paranowski's ready. The pitch to Barry Bonds. What a catch by Jackie Robinson. Leaping up, robbing Barry Bonds of a hit. It's because it's a lefty-lefty matchup. Had it been a right-handed uh, pitcher, it would have been a single. What a great play by number 42, Jackie Robinson, to the oohs and ahs of the Dodger faithful here in Dodger Stadium. Double play will get him out of this inning. But they'll have to get through right-hand batting father, Bobby Bonds, who is homered today. They'll stick with Paranowski. The pitch to Bobby Bonds. That's a ground ball. Robinson, Wills, Garvey, double play. Inning over, 4-6-3. Good job by Ron Paranowski. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Knotted at five. Due up for the Dodgers to face Rob Nen. Garvey, say, Ferrillo. Garvey had the pinch hit homer that tied the game at two. In the bottom of the fourth. The pitch to Mr. Clean from Rob Nett. That's a ground ball. Matt Williams at the hot corner. Throws to Cepeda. One out. Here's the Penguin. Ron Say. 0 for 3 with a strikeout. The pitch to Say. Say swings. Out in front of the plate. Posey has it on the little number. Throws to Cepeda. 2 down. Carl Ferrillo is 0 for 2 since coming in for Dixie Walker. He has struck out twice. Babe Herman will pinch it for Carl Ferrillo. Here's Babe Herman. Two outs. Nin to Herman. That's a base hit. No! What a play by George Davis at short. The lunging, diving catch. Side retired. Oh, 
All right, we need a right fielder. Can Babe Herman play right? I should have looked. I think he can. I think he... We'll find out in a second. Let's do this. I guess he can't play right. Gilliam can play right. Guerrero can play right. Oh, he's a 353. He can play right. Though his range isn't good. So we'll let him play right. So he's a two range, three arm, 53 air. That's probably going to cost us, now that I think about it. We can undo that, and as long as you don't click the dice. All right, let's go back here. Can Herman play center? We can move Willie Davis, though his error rating goes up. Gilliam, Guerrero. Guerrero's going to play right. Three range, three arm, 45 error. All right, there we go. So Guerrero comes in to play right. Jeff Kent, not a happy camper. Koufax planted a ball in his ribs in his last at-bat. Here's the pitch from Paranowski to Kent, followed by Posey and Davis. Kent swings. That's going to be a single to left. Kent still barking at the Dodgers. Go ahead, run at first. Posey at the plate. Eric Gagne coming in to face Posey. Posey is hitless. We got McCovey and Will Clark. Good God, is this team stacked. Willie McCovey will pinch hit for Buster Posey. So here comes Willie McCovey. Eric Gagne will have to face Stretch. Campanella goes out on the mound. Garvey, Say, Robinson, Wills just off the mound. It's a full meeting on the perch. Umpire comes up to break it up. They have everything set. Now Gagne has to deliver. Willie McCovey awaits the Gagne offering. The pitch to Stretch. Swing and a miss. Campanella points out to Gagne. So that's the way. One out, one on. George Davis at the plate. Switch hitter now batting lefty. Gagne to Davis. Davis swings. Grounds it to Gagne. Gagne thought about pivoting, throwing to second. Took the sure out at first. Two outs. Kent. The go-ahead run. In scoring position with two outs, Frankie Frisch at the plate. Okay. Running speed, speed equals three. I have to make sure I don't put a catcher in there. I don't know. I should have looked. Let's cancel that. Close that. Okay. That's for the Dodgers, though. First, second, third. So he is not a catcher. 
That's good news. So he's going to pinch run. And he'll stay into DH. So Connor comes into second with two outs of pinch run. Frankie Frisch at the plate. Frisch singled his last at bat prior to that. Ground out twice. First at bat had a sack bunt. Frisch for the lead. Gagne deals to Frisch. Frisch will work a walk. Two outs, two on. Campanella goes out to have a word with Eric Gagne. He'll have to face the say hey kid, Willie Mays. 5 5 ball game. Can't be back behind the plate. Sets a target. The pitch to Mays from Eric Gagne. Swing and a miss. Down and away. Willie Mays swung for it. Side is retired. Gagne pumps his fist. The Dodgers need one to take game one in this best of seven. We're not at at five. Giants stranded two. So. Connors is in at DH. We have to find a catcher. It's going to be Ewing. Ewing's our only other catcher. So Ewing behind the plate. Five range, three arm, 31 error. Rob Nin on the mound. He'll deal to the switch hitting Maury Wills, now batting lefty. Wills, and he blows the fastball right by him. Strikes out Wills. Nim's job is to take it to extra innings. Starting to labor, Jackie Robinson at the plate. Robinson, two for four. Two singles, a fly out, and a ground out. Nin deals to Jackie. Robinson swings, bounces it to short. Davis up with it, throws to Cepeda, two away. We're one out away from free baseball. The pitch to Duke Snyder. Snyder works a walk. Rob Nin, oh boy, he's tired. Possible wild pitch, we, can't, we couldn't take him out yet. And it has to be a one. It's more than a one, so winning run goes to second. In Snyder, and that's it for Rob Nin. So he doesn't strike out a lot, but I think the high numbers will. Man, if you hit that one. Oh. That's going to negate homers, I think. But it's going to give up hits. I kind of need a strikeout here. We could pitch Perry in relief. He's not scheduled to start, and you can still bring him back if he only pitches to... I, I, I think... I think, I think we're going to go with Perry. Here comes Gaylord Perry out of the bullpen. He'll face Campanella. Snyder's a three. Lopes is a five. Davey Lopes will pinch run for Snyder. Base hit should score Lopes. Gaylord Perry is ready. Ewing sets the target. The pitch to Campanella. Fly ball, center field. Mays is there. He squeezes it. We're going to free baseball, friends. Top of the 10th. 5-5. Five, five. Game one. An epic game here. Now we need a left fielder. Three. Five range is excellent in the outfield. It's the best you can be. I guess I've never seen anyone with a six. I think five's the best. 
355. So it's going to be wheat. Wheat is out and left. Eric Gagne will face Matt Williams, Orlando Cepeda, and possibly Barry Bonds. World's worst gamer. Can Campy redeem himself? Nope. No, he couldn't. Here's the pitch from Gagne to Matt Williams. That's a ground ball to Gagne. He flips to Garvey, one down. Cepeda singled his last two at-bats after striking out and grounding out. The pitch to the baby bull. Tough play for Wills at short. He goes to his back and it's off his glove. Cepeda at first base. Barry Bonds at the plate. Bonds is hitless. He has walked twice. Last at-bat, it was a leaping catch by Jackie Robinson. Number 42 at second to Rob Barry Bonds, son of Bobby Bobby on deck. Gagne to Barry Bonds. Oh boy. A possible homer as Gagne challenged him for a fastball. That is gone! Barry Bonds does his papa proud. He jacks it to dead center. The Giants are up 7 to 5. You heard the sound of the ball off the bat, and Gane just hung his head. He challenged Barry, and Barry went boom. Boom goes the ball. Barry Bonds touches them all. To the moon, Alice, to the moon. And with that moon shot, the Giants are now up 7-5. to five. Here comes Father Bobby, and that's it for Gagne. Jansen will come in. Jansen to Bobby Bonds. I'll be out number two as Bonds grounds to Jackie Robinson at second. Roger Connor, who pinch ran, stayed in at DH. He pinch ran for Kent. Gets his first at bat. Choking up on the bat. Left handed batter. The pitch from Jansen. Connor. Line shot to right. Guerrero coming in. Grabs the sinking line drive. We go to the bottom of the 10th. The Giants get two on the two-run bippity-boppity-boom by Barry Bonds. So Bobby and Barry go yard. Will it be enough to give the Giants a game one victory in this best of seven? Mark Ferguson. Well, if no boom today, boom tomorrow. But there is always a boom. There is a boom. Sometimes we go boom, boom. Sometimes little Wyatt goes boom, boom. He goes boom, boom a lot. And that's a good thing. So Gaylord Perry in line for the win now. I think we're going to stick with Perry. It's Davis, Piazza, and Garvey. The pitch to Willie Davis, who had a two-run homer to tie the game in the seventh. That was the three-run uprising by the Dodgers. The pitch from Perry. Fly ball, left field, Bonds makes the catch. One down. Giants two outs away from a game one victory. And that would flip home field advantage. The pitch to Mikey Piazza. Piazza swing and a miss. Oh boy, did that ball dip and dive. Piazza complaining. Ball did some weird things. Two outs. It's up to Steve Garvey. Garvey had the pinch hit two run homer to tie the game. Actually, that um, two-run homer, my faux pas, gave the Dodgers the lead in the bottom of the fourth. He needs a hit to keep this game alive and get the tying run to the plate. Ron Say, Say on deck. Garvey awaits the Perry offering. Here's the pitch. That's a deep fly ball to right field. Bobby Bonds going back. Makes the catch. Game over. All time, all franchise San Francisco Giants defeat the all franchise Los Angeles Dodgers. Game one, best of seven here at Dodgers Stadium. Seven to five, thanks to the two run blast by Barry Bonds. 
What a ball game. Gaylord Perry gets the win. Gagne takes the loss. Not shocking. He sucked with the Red Sox. Barry Bonds with the game-winning homer is the MVP. Giants lead the series 1-0. Make sure you come back tomorrow for game two. As Mark Ferguson says, spitball. That's what I believe. I believe it was a spitball. But I manage both teams. Probably might have should have brought Jansen in. I kept Gagne in. But who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> Quickly to the box score. Steeler fans are good. Steeler fan 1933, our good friend Matt says, thanks for sharing out. Thank you for coming here. Hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, you know what to do. Smack that like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, all that good stuff. If you're on social media and you want, share it. <clears throat> Seven five. No pitchers duel today. George Davis for the Giants, two for five with a ribby. Struck out once. Frankie Frisch, one for three with a walk. Willie Mays, two for five with a run scored, struck out twice. Matt Williams, 0 for five, struck out twice. The Baby Bull, Orlando Cepeda, three for five, two runs scored with a K. Barry Bonds, one for three, three runs scored, walked twice, and hit a two run homer. Father Bobby Bonds, one for five, hit a two run homer, scored a run, obviously. Jeff Kent had his uh, nice black and blue in his ribs from a fastball. Planted there by Sandy Koufax, one for three. And a bunch of curse words. Connor, the pinch runner, stayed in, in the game to play the outfield. 0 for 1. Buster Posey, 0 for 3. McCovey, the pinch hitter, 0 for 1, struck out. Ewing caught, did not bat. Mathewson was, he got hurt in the collision at first. Probably can bring him back if he's okay. Baumgartner pitched not hit. Beck pitched not hit. Antonelli pitched not hit. Nin pitched not hit. And Gaylord Perry got the win. Pitched did not hit. Giants in extra innings. 39 at-bats. 7 runs. 11 hits. 5 ribbies. So they're uh, bad defense. You had that pass ball and error. Cost the Dodgers 2 runs. Walked 5 times. I'm sorry. Walked 3 times. Struck out nine times. For the Dodgers in defeat, Maury Wills, two for five runs scored, struck out twice. Jackie Robinson, two for five. Duke Snyder, one for three with a ribby and two walks. Davey Lopes, pinch ran. We went in to play left. Campanella, 0 for four with a run scored, walked once. Willie Davis, one for five, a run scored, two ribbies. He had a two-run homer. Mike Piazza, one for four, the run scored with a walk and two strikeouts. Dolph Camelli, 0 for 1. Then we pinch hit early for Camelli. It was a good decision there. Garvey had a two run homer. He was 2 for 4. Run scored, two ribbies. Ron Say, the Penguin, 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Dixie Walker, 0 for 1, was lifted for Car Ferrillo, who was 0 for 2. He struck out twice. So right field was 0 for 3. Herman. 0 for 1 as a pinch hitter. Guerrero went out to play right, but never got an at bat. Obviously, we're playing with a DH, so Koufax, Paranowski, Gagne, Jansen, they all pitched, did not hit. Dodgers, 39 at bats, 5 runs, 9 hits, 5 ribbies, 4 walks. They struck out 8 times. Barry Bonds committed an error for the Giants. Maury Wills, an error that cost us a run. A pass ball by Campanella cost us a run. Dodgers turned the only double play. Davis stole two bases. Maury Wills stole one. First got caught stealing. For the Giants, Christy Mathewson, three and a third innings, three hits, no runs, walked one, struck out one was injured in the collision covering first base. Bob Cole says, thanks, Al. It was a blast. No pun intended. LOL. Bernard Strom says, thanks, Al. Fun game. Well, we're going to make sure you come back when we have the other games. We'll have more fun to come. Madison Bob Gardner, 
Two innings, three hits, two runs. They were both earned. It was a two-run homer. Struck out three, walked none. Beck, an inning and a third. He gave up two runs on two hits. Walked two, struck out two. Antonelli didn't retire anybody. He gave up a homer. Men went two innings, walked one, struck out one. Perry, pitched an inning and a third, got the win. Gave up no runs, no hits, striking out one. Colfax went seven innings, eight hits, five runs, only three earned. Walked two, struck out seven, gave up the homer to Bobby Bonds. Paranowski, an inning, gave up a hit. Eric Gagne stunk the joint out, an inning, inning and a third, two hits, two runs. The runs were earned off the bat of Barry Bonds, a two-run homer. Jansen got the final two outs to take it to the bottom of the 10th, but the Dodgers could not rally. So there you have it. Game one goes to the all-franchise Giants. 7-5 over the all-franchise Dodgers. Game two will be coming up most likely tomorrow or Thursday. I'd like to thank World's Worst Gamer, Bob Cole, Bernard Strom, Steeler Fan 1933, our good friend Matt, Mark Ferguson. Bob Cole, hey Al, if if I may, as someone from Quebec, Gagne is pronounced Gagne. Greg Gagne? I, I thought they always said Gagne. Maybe they were pronouncing it wrong, too. But I do not doubt you as a Quebecer. I'm pretty sure, though, in America they pronounced it Craig Gagne. They didn't pronounce it like the wrestler. They didn't pronounce it like the wrestler. And I'm not doubting you. I'm just saying they pronounced it Eric Gagne. I think. I could be wrong. I just I, I try to block him out because he sucked with the Red Sox. He got a World Series ring with the Red Sox, and he sucked. But thank you, Bob. Uh, thank to Mark Ferguson, Sports Time Machine, our good friend, Mr. Utah Mike. Check out that wonderful channel. World's Worst Gamer. Pesky Paul, check out his channel. Bernard Strom. Dave Gardner. And Steve Tate. Check out Dave Gardner's wonderful channel along with Steve Tate. And, of course, Beatles Eternally. So there you have it. No, that's okay, Bob. It probably is. It probably is. Uh, uh, Ganya, just like the wrestler, because it's spelled the same. Father and son. The wrestlers from Minnesota. Uh, what the hell was the father's name? Oh my God. The son was Greg Ganya. What was the dad's name? Anyway, uh, AWA champs. They ran the AWA. But his name, I'm pretty sure, pronounced Gagne. Eric Gagne. Gagne, I mean. Actually, I used to call him Gagne when he played for the Red Sox because he gagged. So, anyhow, thank you very much. If you enjoyed the stream, hit that like button. That's very important for the YouTube algorithms. Uh, it helps out the channel. helps our channel grow. helps the other channels grow when you hit their like buttons. Subscribe, hit the bell for notification, all that good stuff. So until next time, stay safe, be smart, treat people the way you want to be treated. Greatly appreciate your time. God bless, love you all, see you soon, and peace. Remember to come back for Game 2. Bye-bye.